Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Today's video is a little different. I'm not making any cards. Trinity Stamps just released their card making sketchbook. You can use it to sketch, plan, and create. They sent me one to show and try out. This sketchbook comes in a cute teal box, includes a teal pencil with the Trinity Stamps logo on it. Here's a look at this sketchbook, that same pretty teal color, and it's a nice large size. The cover and back page of this sketchbook are laminated, so it's nice and sturdy. The sketchbook is really thick. I'm not sure how many pages are included. We'll open up the cover, and the first page is a pocket, and inside the pocket there's a tall stencil. I'll pull that out of the pocket so you can get a better look. On the right side there's a ruler, goes all the way to 9 inches. The stencil also includes a variety of different shapes, and these could be elements for designing your sketches. There's a variety of smaller shapes. We have flowers, stars, hearts, some hexagons, tiny little banners, a triangle. There's a couple larger shapes, a variety of different circles and squares. There's also some longer pieces. One has a scallop border. So you could use all of these different pieces to help create a card design. The next page after the border is the title, and you could add your name. Then we come to the first tab. This is A2 Sketches. There's some good information on the front page of each of the tabs. This sheet is for an A2 size card. It has the measurements for the 1 8 inch panel and the 1 16 inch mat layer. So if your panel is 4 inches by 5 and a quarter inches, and you want to add that 1 16 inch matting, you would cut 4 and 1 8 of an inch by 5 and 3 8 of an inch. And it has the measurements for a variety of different sizes. The next pages are the sketchbook area for an A2 size card. So at the top of the page, it has Project 4. You can put a date. There's a color palette. There's a grid, so this is where you would add your sketch design. And there's lines on either the right or left side of the sketch, so you can add different notes. One side of the page is all vertical cards, and the opposite side is horizontal cards. The next section is A7 sketches. So this would be a 5 by 7 inch card. And it also includes the measurements on the front for the 1 8 and 1 16 inch matted layers. The next sketch size is a mini slimline. So this would be a 3 by 6 inch card. And the pages for each of the sketch sizes are very similar. There's a vertical and horizontal option, an area to put your project description, a color palette, and you can also add the date. Next is the slimline sketches. So this would be a three and a half by eight and a half inch card. Because of the larger size of the slimline card, the pages are a little different. Each one includes a horizontal and a vertical sketch. The final tab is labeled other sketches. All of the pages in this section have a dot grid design. So here is where you'll add all those other size sketches. Maybe you like to make square cards, so you could add a 6x6, six six, maybe a 4x4 four four inch card sketch in this section. So how can you use this sketchbook in card making? Here's a way I think it would be really useful. Let's say I'm planning out my Christmas cards for the year. I want to make the same design, 40 of them, and I have this idea in my head. I just bought a new stamp set with a large image or maybe a sentiment stamp, and I want that to be the feature on the card. I'll grab this stencil, and I'll put a large circle in the very center, so I know this is where I'll be adding either the image or the sentiment. I also bought three pattern papers that all coordinate together, and I know I'll use them on the card. So now I need to figure out how I can incorporate those three pattern papers. I'll use one for the background. I'll use another as a wide strip down the center of the card. So I'm using this stencil to draw those in. And I'll use the third pattern paper as a narrow strip going across the card toward the bottom. Having this stencil makes it really easy to quickly draw out the different shapes for your sketch. I'm adding some diagonal squiggly lines to separate each of the different pattern paper pieces. 
I'll also use this stencil to add a small banner in the upper left hand corner since that's something I love to do on my cards. I'll also write image or sentiment in the large circle. That way I remember what I wanted to add there. And the circle could be another shape. And this is where you could add notes on the right hand side and say you want an oval or a hexagon instead of the circle. I could label the project Christmas card 2023 and on the note area, I could put the different stamp sets I wanna use and pattern paper. Another way to use this sketchbook, you see a card on social media, maybe in a YouTube video and you really like the design. You can use this sketchbook and the stencil to quickly draw out that card design. This is a card I made this week and I did follow a sketch from MFT. This works great as an example. Plus you can use your sketchbook if you come across a card sketch you wanna duplicate. I'll use this stencil to draw out the main design of this sketch. So I'm adding the narrow strip across the card. Then I'll add three small circles at the top and three small circles at the bottom. And you can easily substitute the circles for any other shape. I'll add the three circles at the bottom and they don't have to be evenly spaced. It really represents that basic sketch idea. On the card, I've added a sentiment on a label shape. That shape isn't on the stencil. So I use one of the squares on the stencil, although I'm not drawing out the full square. After I sketch out the sentiment box, I'll use an eraser to remove all the pencil lines inside that sentiment box. I'm using a regular pencil, so it's easy to erase the areas, but you could also use colored pencils to distinguish the different areas. In the notes section, you could add the sketch company or who inspired you for this card design. For example, I would write MFT sketch number 657. That way I know where I saw this card sketch. I almost always make A2 size cards, so I'm pretty good with the measurements. I think another way this sketchbook will be handy is to try some of the different size cards, since Trinity Stamps already has the measurements listed on the front panel. I decided to try a five by seven card. This is the A7 size sketch. With the measurements already listed, I know exactly what size to cut the background of my paper. And I figured it'd be fun to make a quick card with you. I'm using Echo Park's First Responder Collection. This is a 12 by 12 paper. I'll cut the background panel to six and three fourths of an inch by four and three fourths of an inch. And I don't need to do any math. The measurements are already listed for the 1 16th inch matted layer. Six and seven eighth inch by four and seven eighths of an inch. And now I'll have the perfect matted layer for my pattern paper piece. Since I rarely make larger size cards, I don't usually have to add the extension bar on my trimmer, but I'm glad it's there for when I need it. So now it's time to design an A7 sketch. I already have the pattern paper and the matted layer. I'll be making a horizontal card. With the firefighter theme, this card will be going to my church. There's a ministry that likes to bring cards to first responders in the community, and they prefer to have the larger size cards. So I'll label this card Church and Firefighter. I could put first responder instead, since this sketch will work for any of the cards for the first responders. Now I'll use this stencil and draw in the matted layer. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's the nice thing about a sketch, as long as I understand what it means. After I draw in the matted layer, I'll write pattern paper for the inside piece. Then I'll draw a little line to indicate the layer, add the measurements for the layer and also pattern paper. And after I did this, I think it would have been better to put the measurements on the note section. I started to do that then changed my mind. But again, it is a sketch. And as long as you understand what all the notes are, that's all that matters. The paper collection I'm using for the first responder cards has some large four x four cut aparts with sentiments and images. They'll be perfect to feature on the card, especially the larger five x seven card. I'll use the stencil and draw a large square on the center of this sketch. When I'm adding this square, this is where I regret writing pattern paper and all the measurements. 
but it does still work out. I'll also be adding a large banner in the center of the card. So I'll draw that in and putting it on the right and left side of the large square. I'll even sketch in the fishtail on the right and left side. I'll draw a little line from the banner and add the measurements. This will be six and one fourth of an inch by two inches. I already know the color palette for this card, so I will fill it in. I'm using colored pencils. I think marker might go through the paper. Adding red, yellow, and black for the color palette. The lead on my yellow pencil broke, so I had to find another one to use. Then I'll use the pencils to indicate where the colors are on the sketch. I'm erasing the measurements for the 4x4 four four square, moving it up a little. That way it's not on top of the banner across the center of the card. I'll fill in the banner yellow. Then I'll add a notation that the center square will be for the sentiment. The background, just lightly scribbling all over that pattern paper piece to indicate it'll be red. I don't need to fill in the area completely with the red pencil, just enough so I know that background piece is for the pattern paper. Then I'll use the black pencil to fill in the matted cardstock layer. It's just a very small layer around the pattern paper piece, but it does stand out more by filling it in with the black pencil. Once that's finished, I'll use the stencil to add a few star embellishments. There are several different star sizes on the stencil. I'll add one of the smaller stars on the banner on the right side of the card, and a larger star and a small star in the upper left hand corner on the sentiment panel and the banner. I'll first draw the outline of this star, then fill it in with a pencil so they stand out on the card sketch. I'll add the final small star. Then my sketch is basically finished. Now I'll assemble the rest of my card following my sketch design. I've already cut out the long banner and the sentiment cut apart. So I'll set aside this sketchbook and assemble the card. I'll layer the 4x4 sentiment cut apart on some black cardstock. This piece is 4 and 1 eighth of an inch by 4 and 1 eighth of an inch. And I could add the measurements for the cardstock layer on the sketch. Then I'll use my scissors and cut a fishtail on the right and left side of the yellow strip. Then I'll put adhesive on the back and add the yellow banner on the center of my card. Next I'll add the pattern paper panel on the black cardstock layer. And you can see I have the perfect layer with the black cardstock since I followed the measurements in the sketchbook. Now I'll adhere the cut apart sentiment, putting it on the very center of the card. And this is Firefighter, one who takes risks and secures the safety of others, a real life hero. I think that's a great sentiment to thank firefighters. I'll put ATG tape on the back and add my card front onto a card base. And I'm leaving just that narrow border of the white card base showing. So that would be 1 16th inch matted layer. Now I'll add the three star embellishments. I'll put foam dimension on the back, add two stars on the left side of the card, and the third star on the right side, following the design of my card sketch. So here you can see the card sketch next to my finished card. The new card making sketchbook from Trinity Stamps is perfect for helping plan out your cards and card designs. If you are interested in purchasing one, I do have a link provided in the description box below. I love supporting small local businesses, and Trinity Stamps is located in Washington State where I live. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.